is the greatest human invention ever thus far. Without doubt, electricity tops the list. My religion is committed. Go to my heart, consciousness is my spirituality. I am a committee. But modern electricity is not very good. This modern world would be a completely unimaginable one. It would imply that a different form of lighting, heating, cooling, and refrigeration, operating appliances, computers, electronics, machinery and public transport system would be here. This topic is informative, educational and illuminating. It is an eye-opening one and will expand your knowledge beyond the normal. It deals with the evil aspect or nature of modern electricity. And, uh, this is hidden and is not explained or publicized by the public uh, media or by a lot of uh, people. Our ancestors used electric power. Our statement in the introduction implies that a different form of energy would be used in modern times in our homes and industry, hence proving that in ancient times there was electricity. It's correct. Yes, electrical power was harnessed by our ancestors and was used in all the major cities in Gendera, Memphis, Sumeria, Mohenjo-Daro, and in the Americas. Here is the proof for that. You can see on top here, this is uh, what is called known as the Dendera lamp. It's an incandescent lamp. It's used in some form of current or heat or energy light up the whole mess. Modern scientists like the Rice Committee a magic. Of course, we can say Nikola Tesla, his electric oscillator is based on the ancient Egyptian ank. Our ank is founded by our ancestors. There are also many other devices in ancient Kamitic web. Normally, without too much uh, digging, that depicts strikingly vacuum tube like devices. More to Nikola Tesla's statement that his art of wireless electricity and radio was an ancient one. A statement that was recounted in one of Thomas Bede's works. Now, it is obvious that knowledge was lost when our civilization fell, so-called discovery attributed to modern scientists and many, many others on many subjects, spread plagiarisms. You know that even today, because of such plagiarisms, no scientist is able to answer the question, what is electricity? They say that electricity is a form of energy or the flow of electrons. It is written in their books that electrical energy is transmitted through wires, but what exactly flows inside those wires is not known. General and accepted models theorize that electrons or something they call a coulomb or a charge or a voltage forces something to move inside uh, the wire. And then they say it's current. But again, you know that it also jumps across gaps and causes sparks, like the spark plug here used in many petrol cars. Uh, in, uh, a few years ago. Electricity has always been part of nature, it is not in the form of static electricity discharging to the earth in the form of lightning or when rubbing two electrical charged materials. In fact, the truth is that electricity is the form of electricity in the form of modern electric power was invented when it was discovered that it can be generated and transmitted as electrical power through some conductors. So that's the difference. It was not discovered, but it's generated uh, and used uh, in modern uh, systems. In some literature, it is written that the electrons do not move, but push each other in a domino effect. And they say that that's the voltage that does that. But such an explanation is not plausible. Electrons are known as mechan mechanical particles that have mass. They cannot push or move each other at the speed of light. But an electrical signal is transmitted at the speed of light, and no one knows what electricity is. The Lyman's Handbook, uh, Chapter 1, Elementary Electrical Principles, states what is electricity and says no one knows. Then it goes on to explain that people know how to use it, how to control it, they know its effect. 
but what it is, they do not know what the truth is. This ancient Africans in all the cities we have uh, shared about would not have used any kind of torches or fire for lighting inside the temples without getting sued or evidence somewhere. Therefore, they had clean electricity. We lost that technology as our kingdoms are failed. But modern electricity causes pandemics too. Do you know that modern day electrification in our homes, our offices, in our workplaces is lethal? There is a book here describing that in the term they use for it. Have you ever considered it as a contributing factor in our modern day diseases? Because it is not original energy. Hence, it must be a cause of problem. Since our ancestors grouped it under magic, it is likely that it was not distributed today as it is today to the masses, but that the masses used natural oils and other heating sources for energy and in their industry. Many researchers have proved that modern electricity causes massive illnesses, but how does it do that? Because it is a form of dirty energy. They call it dirty electricity. Yeah, it is. And they say that dirty electricity is harmful our health. What is dead electricity? Dead electricity is any electric frequency outside of the normal electrical current range, the normal range. Our electricity that we use today is a form of dirty electricity. How is dead electricity made? Data is created by electronics, appliances, and energy efficient lighting, laptops, television sets, scanners, and printers, microwave ovens, solar power systems, modern mobile phones, cell towers, and battery chargers, rotors, and modern fluorescent light sources, hair dryers, and many, many others. This, this means that dead electricity is almost everywhere. Solar panels generate dead electricity. Many who use solar panels, photovoltaic panels, are completely unaware of the fact that they are a source of dead electricity. Photovoltaic panels generate direct current DC, which is essentially unusable in most homes. Electricity causes pandemics. Uh, this book uh, by Arthur Fittenbeck is very informative. He says that over the last 220 years, society has evolved a universal belief that electricity is safe for humanity and the planet. Scientist and journalist Arthur Fittenberg disrupted this conviction in the invisible rainbow. Fittenberg traces the history of electricity from the early 18th century to the present, making a compelling case that many environmental problems, as well as major illnesses and diseases and pandemics that have plagued our civilization, like heart diseases, diabetes and cancer are all related to electrical pollution. We use this electrical pollution and others use it electricity. Not only electricity, but any time there is a technological discovery that is rolled all over the whole earth, there are pandemics. Why? Because all modern technology violates natural laws. We shall read the highlighted parts uh, from the book Invisible Rainbow. Once upon a time, the rainbow visible in the sky after a storm represented all the colors they were. Our earth was designed that way. We have a blanket of air above us that absorbs the higher ultraviolet together with all the X rays and gamma rays from space. Most of the longer waves that we use today for radio communication were once absent as well. Or rather, they were there in the a small amount. They came to us from the sun and stars, but with, with energies that were trillion times weaker than the light that also came from the heavens. So weak were the cosmic radio waves that they would have been invisible, and also life never developed organs to detect them. Now, it is quite clear that uh, influenza in its present form was invented in 1889 along with alternating currents. Anxiety disorder uplifting one sixth of humanity did not exist before the 1860s, when telegraph wires first encircled the earth, no hint of it appears in the medical literature before 1866. To, with the today's vast number of devastating diseases that no, do not belong here, 
whose origins we do not know, whose presence we take for granted and no longer question what it feels like to be without them is a state of vitality that we have completely forgotten. Now, heart diseases at the time when all these, all these technologies were rolled was only a percentage all over the whole earth. Cancer was also exceedingly rare. Even tobacco smoking in non-electrified time did not cause lung cancer. These are the diseases of civilization that we have also inflicted on our animal and plant neighbors. Diseases that we live with because of our refusal to recognize the force that we have harnessed for what it is, a deadly threat and dangerous technology. The sickest cycle current in our house wiring, the ultrasonic frequencies in our computers, the radio waves in our televisions, the microwaves in our cell phones, these are only distortions of the invisible rainbow that runs through our veins and it makes us alive. It's a distortion. All technology is a distortion of the natural law. Just imagine and think about that very, very deeply. Radiation is damaging our lives. Here's another book by Daniel T. Debon and Ryan P. R. Debon. They say that the human body is electromagnetic, but most people don't realize that the body is also an antenna that will pick up the EMF around it just as we pick the natural one. This can actually be measured and verified with a body voltage meter. So electromagnetic frequency radiation is one of the fastest growing health issues facing our society today. EMF radiation produced by modern technology such as 5G, cell phones, tablets, laptops, Wi-Fi and smart meters is emerging as one of the greatest health threats. And we are just guinea pigs in a giant experiment many unknown consequences. Our ancestral technology was safe, nature-friendly, and the great. The United States government also admits that its first published document acknowledged the harmful effects of EMFs nearly 50 years ago from both the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, and the Naval Medical Research Institute. EMF exposure sensitivity include anxiety and depression, headaches, fatigue, vision and hearing issues, cognitive dysfunction, including lack of concentration and focus, dizziness, vertigo, memory change, tension and restlessness, and irritability. So these are the diseases. Most of them we treat with chemicals. You see what the United Nations, the World Health Organization has said about chemicals trying to cure this. EMF damages your DNA, EMFs affect your body's ability to repair damaged DNA, and the this can be okay. On September 5, 2015, a one-page press release from the World Health Organization called for the recognition of EMS, electro hypersensitivity, as well as MPS, multiple chemical sensitivity, to be recognized as two new real diseases. Worthy of inclusion in the International Classification of Diseases a database, ICD, about that. Think about that very, very deeply. In summary, therefore, modern technology with all its push button is luxury and ease of use, with high levels of networking, fastest data processing, cloud computing and servers is still based on dirty technology and they're not healthy for you and me. So what must you do? What must I do? What should we do as humanity? We must start to use applied knowledge and share tactics to fortify ourselves using physical and mental food that alkalinizes our bodies and it cleanses our body and the environment from the effect of electromagnetic pollution and the deadly electricity. There are daily actions that we should do and there are daily gadgets that we should have, servers and filters to filter and purify electricity into our gadgets and to ourselves and we must switch off all power sources at night and disengage regularly from using our cell phones and laptops and also children and using other sources of heat instead of electric blankets, electric heaters and many, many others. And lastly, but not least, to select and carry some crystal and some other items that are very, very critical and very, very important. For other extreme tactics, do not hesitate to send us an email with a specific uh, code MGC21 
star at join at marifado or dot com. We are in deep trouble. For more than electricity is a magnetic pollutant. So we need to take extra Afro salvation steps. These four steps are do your own research and familiarize yourself with Ubuntu philosophy. Number two, you must accept Mahati and coordinate your ninefold soul and learn the whispers. Number three, you must connect to two basic totems. You must be able to sing and dance your totems alone and with others and know your totemic poetry and repeat it regularly. Know the taboos and the issues of food, water, and supplies for holy service. That is your life. You must stay informed. You can contact Hamiti Ibu Ethics, Maharipado Elder, who is in your area, or send us an email on joinatmarifado.com. For more information, you can visit our website, join here www.marifado.com. This picture by Ellen Pulido, Hamiti Ibu Ethics, Maharipado Ahem, for getting the real solution to modern. Challenge. Thank you, Katenda Siabonga Henko. <laughs>